Zashak here and I've been doing a lot of b-roll shots of products on the studio setup that you're seeing right behind me since the beginning of my YouTube channel. Now since then I changed up a few things and I thought to myself why not do a video on my studio setup of my MacBook Pro and my Surface laptop too. Now before I start this video I just want to mention that what I mean by Surface and MacBook setup I don't have Surface products to match with the Surface laptop too and I don't have Apple products to match with my MacBook except for one, but you'll see that later in the video. I'm a fan of mix and matching because mixing and matching does not limit me to what I really wanna buy for my setup or overall at all. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Now, I wanna start off with a big and obvious, and that's my TV called the Q6FN from Samsung. And it also has a sound bar attached to it. Now, I'm not gonna get into too much details with this, but it's a 55 inch QLED panel, it's 4K and supports HDR, or what Samsung likes to call it, QHDR. And what's connected to my TV are my gaming consoles. I have all three right here, the Switch, the Xbox One X, and the PS4 Pro, which have been applied with the D-Brand skin to give it a nice contrast. Now, to the right of my setup is where my Surface Laptop 2 is placed. Now, this is my black setup, black on black with everything right here, because that was the look I was going for. As you can see, my Surface has a D-Brand skin on it. It's one of their newest camo editions and I really loved how this came out because to me, it makes the logo stand out more. And originally, this is the black model, so you're getting the black Alcantara fabric when you open the lid of the laptop. This Surface is an i5 with 8GB of RAM and I chose this laptop as my Ultrabook because I'm a fan of the U-chip that's placed here. The keyboard has an excellent amount of travel time, the battery is giving me about 8-10 to 10 hours, it's very light and easy to travel with. I'm just loving that tall 13.5 inch display because of that 3x2 aspect ratio. I have a full review and also a comparison with the new MacBook Air, so I'm going to leave a link below. Right below the laptop is a stand from Amazon that you can get for under 20 bucks. Now since it is Amazon's brand, it does feel kind of cheap, but that's okay. It does the job perfectly well. It has space inside and the back for you to tuck and run your wires, and it does a pretty good job in hiding them. Now it doesn't leave your laptop flat at 180 degrees, it's adjustable to an inclined position only, so if that's something you don't like, consider a different stand. Below the stand is a 12 by 36 inch RGB mat from SteelSeries called the Quick Prism XL. It's a gaming mat made out of cloth and you have LED strip running around the mat, which can be controlled through their Engine 3 app. Now, one thing I did not like about this mat is that there is no USB pass-through, like the one from Corsair, and that limits the ports on my Surface Laptop too. On the middle of the mat lays the Black Widow Chroma X from Razer, and this is an RGB mechanical keyboard with green switches. Now, if you're not familiar with Razer's switches, green is very tactile and clicky. It's best compared to Cherry MX Blue switches, and here, have a listen. I did put some custom keycaps on some of the keys. It's translucent metallic blue from a company called Hoji. And I chose this color because blue is my favorite color and I got some of that going on in my logo. You can pick up a set of 12 keycaps for 10 bucks on Amazon. Next to the keyboard is another Razer peripheral, the Razer Mamba Chroma. It's a wireless RGB mouse and I just love how bright the lights are on this thing. You have the stripes running from the sides and then the scroll wheel as well. But my favorite thing about this mouse is the charging cradle. When you're done using the mouse, just place it on top of the cradle which connects magnetically and it also lights up. Very cool. One downside besides the expensive $130 price point is that I'm getting around four hours with the lights on with this wireless mouse. On the other side of this table, I have a RGB stand from Corsair. I love the stand because the build is aluminum. You have some RGB lights going on, but not so bright and flashy. Two USB 3.0 ports, one on the top and one on the side, and a headphone jack. My Bose qz 35 which I have a review on, is hanging on the stand. Now, I love these headphones, they sound great, noise canceling is excellent, especially for me living in the city and over 20 hours of battery life. 
Last thing on this desk is a wireless charger from Samsung. It is convertible, meaning you can have your phone standing up or you can have it laid flat down. One thing I do not like about this charger is that it's a little big and it doesn't have a small profile like the new wireless charger from Google. Now onto the black and white Mac setup. I wanna first start off with the monitor. It's by LG, a 27 inch 4K panel with 60 Hertz and it features with FreeSync. I mainly use this display when it comes to color editing or color grading my videos. Now speaking of color editing, what I use to edit my videos is all on this MacBook Pro. As you can see, there's another skin on this laptop and I went with the marble white and matte black finish on the inside for better contrast. But this one's from Slick Wraps, not Dbrand, because Slick Wraps gives you the option to skin the inside of the laptop, not only just the touchpad like Dbrand. Now this model is a little older, it's 2015 with a 5th gen i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an Intel Iris Pro GPU. This laptop isn't the ideal machine to edit my videos on Premiere because I record on 4K, so rendering does take a little while because the MacBook thermal throttles quite a bit. The reason I still have this laptop is because I got it for an excellent price, so I'm still holding onto it until I get a new machine. Last but not least on this laptop is that stand from Omotan. You can get it for about 20 bucks on Amazon, and what I like about this stand is that it's adjustable, so you can fit about a 17 inch laptop in here with no problem. It's aluminum, giving it a nice premium feel to it. And I have my MacBook Pro standing vertically on the stand because I think it looks better this way, and it saves me some desk space. If you're worried about thermal issues, it's okay. The fans are on the side of the laptop. I have another RGB mat from SteelSeries, the same one we saw from my Surface Laptop 2 setup. On top, I have another Black Widow X Chroma keyboard from Razer with the same custom blue keycaps, but this keyboard is in white to give it a nice contrast with the black. Speaking of nice contrast below the keyboard, I have a white Magic Trackpad 2 from Apple. And this is a useful tool that I use because the gestures are really handy when it comes to editing in Premiere. Now this might be a little bit of overkill. I also have a wireless mouse from Logitech called the G703. It's RGB as well. And I have this in addition to my Magic Trackpad is because I still love the feeling of a wireless traditional mouse. So I just had to include it in the setup. In front of the keyboard, I have my Sony Bluetooth speakers called the XB21. You can get it in a lot of colors. I have mine in black. It sounds great and it's pretty actually loud. It has an LED indicator that follows the sound of the beat. It charges through a micro USB cable, but battery life, I was getting around 10 hours. Last but not least are my headphones, the Audio-Technica ATH-M50XBT. Yes, these are Bluetooth and yes, I put a custom D-brand marble skin on them. I place these headphones on a black coat hanger that you can get for like five bucks or under. And basically they sound great. Now no noise canceling. I mainly use these headphones for sound editing. They have touch functions, fits comfortably. And the battery life is more than 20 hours. It's pretty not, it's not bad for 200 bucks. Last but not least are my Philips Hue lights. They are overall everywhere in my setup. I have two strips running from behind my two desks. It's two individual strips by the way. I have my desk lamp that are sitting on the side of both of my tables and light strips behind both panels of my 55 inch QLED TV and my 27 inch monitor. I'm a huge fan of Philips Hue. They are easy to control through the app and especially if you have a home voice assistant like Google or Alexa. Now the setup that I have behind me is not the cleanest setup, but it works. I put a lot of work into it. Um, it may change over time. I might get a new laptop, a new machine. I might remove machines and devices from here, but for now I'll stick with it. And um, if you have any questions, please comment below. If you want me to review any products, please comment below. And I'm gonna take a very, very small break from YouTube. Uh, my next video, I'm gonna be back with the review of most likely the Galaxy S10. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and finesse on that subscribe button. And let's end it off with fun fact number 53. The original name for Windows was Interface Manager. I don't know how they went from Interface Manager to Windows, but I like Windows better. Thanks for watching. I'm Zashak. Stay tech strong, stay humble, and deuces.